Have you ever received a file from someone only to realize you have missing images and fonts inside of it? If you do not have these exact same images and fonts this person has on your computer, these can show up as missing in your links panel, leading to some errors on your side and frustration from everyone involved. So, how can you avoid this problem? InDesign has a neat way of allowing you to share all of your files that are in one document in one go. This is called packaging your file. By sending someone a packaged file, they will have all of the images, links, and fonts you used on their computer, allowing them to not have any errors or missing links when opening and editing the same document. Here's how you can create a packaged file. When you are finished creating your document, you will want to click File, and then go all the way down here to Package. Here, you will see a pop-up window asking you to check the summary and look for errors. You essentially want to make sure all of your images and fonts are free to use. If you end up needing to change a font in a document for whatever reason, InDesign makes it easy to do so here. If the fonts are Adobe Creative Download fonts, they will not package, but our staff here at ColorTech has access to all of those, so for us, they will work fine. With images, we don't need to worry about any that are marked as RGB, since all RGB color will be converted to CMYK in our prepress, which is the color mode for print. However, if this is not the case for you, you will want to go back and check your document for any errors under the links panel of your document. Once you have examined your document for any errors and have verified that everything looks good, you can now click the package option in which you can name your packaged file and then place it in your chosen location. We will place our file in this folder named ColorTech. Now that this file is saved, let's look inside the folder. In all packaged files, you will see a print PDF of your document, the original InDesign file, and an InDesign markup language file, which allows files to be opened on all versions of InDesign. If applicable, you will also see folders containing all of your document fonts and any images or links contained within. It's important to note that if you add any images or fonts after this step, you will either need to repackage the entire folder again once it's ready for print, or add your images specifically to the images folder and the same process for fonts. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been able to show you how to package a file on InDesign and why it is important to transfer links and fonts along with your document.